They try to, they put us in a McDonald's commercial. They put your brother in a McDonald's commercial. They try to put me in a McDonald's commercial. McDonald's kills you, my nigga. 2024 is not off to a great start, at least for Kanye and Playboy Cardi fans. The only fan base to have it worse than them is probably Frank Ocean's. But honestly, with the disaster of December 15th and January 26th, it seems like artists just keep on announcing projects that are nowhere near finished. And it's more than just Cardi and Kanye, so let's go ahead and dive into this video. Now obviously the most recent topic of discussion is Cardi's album not dropping on Friday like it was supposed to. Honestly at this point I think we should just stop believing any drop dates that we see. But now with that being said though, there is one leak going around saying Cardi's only dropping after all three volumes of Kanye's project. Now do I believe it? Not really. I just don't see how this album rollout will last a whole nother three months. Especially with all the little posts that we keep on getting, I think it'll drop sooner than that. And now all the singles have been perfect, but like I've said in my last couple of videos, at this point we just need the album the fans are definitely getting tired of being led on i mean bro you even got other rappers telling you to drop it i swear he got until february 9th until i leak his music myself but anyways this leads me to my next topic which is kanye these last couple of years kanye has really been one of the most unpredictable people out there so i don't really think it's too crazy for me to not believe we're getting three full volumes to this project and if we are i don't think any of the snippets we've heard so far would even make it on the track list the whole album probably got scrapped and the only thing that seems to stay constant in vultures is cardi's hand in it honestly it seems like he's more involved than Ty Dolla Sign ever was, which is crazy because it's his album too. Now to be real with y'all, the only reason I'm not as upset about Vultures is just because I'm not that excited for it. I know I'm not the only one that thinks those listening party snippets were just underwhelming to say the least, which is probably the reason for the delay anyways. I mean, listen to what this man was playing on the piano, bruh. Now regardless of what the final outcome is, we still facing one major problem and it's not just Cardi and Kanye. Ski Mask and Yeet both have had albums planned to drop for I want to say like 6 months now. Yeet already even started his rollout in the form of a brand new label being announced and he even dropped 3 trailers for the project. Now to be fair, compared to the beginning of 2023, the last couple months of the year really stepped up in terms of music drop, which probably caused both of them and many others to push back albums due to competition. And now I get it, if you put time into something you want to see it succeed, but why continue to leave fans on into thinking the drop is soon. Cardi specifically is causing fans hundreds of dollars pushing back his tour over and over. And what I think is really happening is albums just aren't being finished before being announced anymore. So artists just end up wanting to change things or in Kanye's case just completely overhaul it. But it's really starting to get in the way of fans. I mean I even remember Nicki Minaj saying that she worked on her album up until the day it came out. And in my opinion this really has to stop. But hey I'm not one of those people that think artists owe their fans anything. Regardless if fans are the ones platforming the artists it's still their work that got our attention anyways but hey i'm gonna end it off here let me know what your opinion is in the comments i'll catch y'all next time with another video i appreciate all the love like always and i'm out